Hey, what is up, you guys? My name is Arthur. Sub Zero. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2, Part 19. Is it Part 19? I hope I'm right. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so we're continuing on with John Marks' story, the story that I didn't complete for the past, I think, two years or a year. Uh, the good thing is that I have not seen any spoilers because I've been uh, throughout two years. I think it was like a year or two years. Uh, I didn't spot any like Red Dead Redemption. Well, I have, but just like from Arthur's side of the stories. And um, just this year, I've seen videos of Thank people you, playing Red Dead Redemption. And hey. it reminded me <laughs> How you getting of on? this game. Oh, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. <laughs> Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here and get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. This is pretty much a blank playthrough at this point now. Because, uh, I didn't see any spoilers about this side of John's, uh, uh, story. I don't know why. I've just been seeing a lot of, uh, Arthur's stories. You know, like, um, uh, I don't know, it was like, I think it was like side missions. It must be, because I didn't see, like, any of them, like, uh, main stories. So, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm spacing out. <laughs> Sorry. Load her up pretty good, Milton. Good. Now you ride slow now. Gettys don't want his goods damaged. Of course. Slow. Well, at least I'm not in a rush today, dude. I'm like, man, yesterday. No, not yesterday. Two days ago, when I was recording, I I was like on a big rush. I had to do something on that day, and I was supposed to be there on time. My brother was waiting for me. Okay. My brother was waiting for me, and I think he was waiting for me like for like 30 minutes, and then he was texting me. He was like, "Come on, where you at? I'm over here waiting." I was just like, "Okay, okay, okay." He's like, "I'm good. I'm coming." Like, but this game was like. The, it's like only if I can, like I think he understands it because uh, you know, he was, because he was a little patient a little bit. Not how like ten minutes or like twenty minutes went by and I was maybe ten minutes uh, away from finishing the game and he decided he would leave and so like I think like fifteen to twenty minutes after like another twenty to fifteen minutes I finished I finished the story of Arthur and I was able to save but I had to I had to replay the part where just a little part where it shows like one year later and then it shows um, Arthur or not Arthur uh, John um, John John's wife I forgot what was her name and his son Christopher so yeah, now I'm hoping nothing interrupts me because my my ear my headphones are pretty loud. So um, I'm just hoping that nothing happens today and uh, I don't get interrupted. And I have my phone next to me, so if I do receive a message, I'm able to see it. Uh, so yeah. Go in jail. Go past it. And north. Oh, uh, so this is the lake. I've never been on this side of the mission because I always been, I just been curious or I just been straightforward, just been doing uh, Arthur's missions and just all of that. You know, I wasn't uh, exploring. If I if I play this, if I was playing this game, how I was playing it, uh, or if I was still playing this game uh, a year ago or two years ago, I don't remember. I gotta look at it. I gotta look that up and see how long it's been since I last played Red Dead Redemption because uh, just the part two. I haven't played the, uh, the first one in years, uh, so I'm looking forward to playing Red Dead Redemption right around the corner uh, soon. But once I finish this one, I'm going to be playing. Uh, I'm 
getting back to playing uh, The Walking Dead. Uh, I might add another game to it, I might, uh, depending. But I'm also gonna be. I bought this game called Stray as well. So I'll be playing that game soon as well. Uh, maybe when I finish The Walking Dead. Yeah. Because I think I'm one part away from finishing that, so when I finish that one, it's gonna be pretty cool. Dang, look at this forest. This side's all dead. What the heck? Well, there's a lot of good trees to chop down. Chop them up and burn them onto the fire and make some good firewood. Ooh, I bet that one will make a good firewood as well, that fat one. Oh my gosh. Especially some of these laws. Stumps. Oh man. Ooh, I see another one over there. That looks like a good one. Throw it in the fire and it'll last all night. Especially with the ones that are covered in tree stuff and everything. So we'll look at the radar. Oh my gosh, I broke the fence. Oh, that isn't. Go off on my paycheck. <laughs> you Mr. Gaddies? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens. His over. Dickens. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes. It's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands, it's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot, we'll all work. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, <laughs> when's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> We know when we're not wanted. Get down from there! Oh! <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Come back here! It's tapping next level too early. Oh, so this is where this horse comes in, huh? Okay. I was wondering what was. I was about to say something about why this horse was in the middle, but blocking the view of a back. Uh, hey! This is your last chance to come out of this breathing! Honk? Oh man. Punch. <laughs> oh, you lucky boy. You lucky. You lucky man. You lucky. Dad, look at his friend. I gotta follow the the indicator back. That this wagon's complicated to, to steer, so. Oh, I thought it was him. I wasn't about to jump him, dude. Hey, man. That's so weird. He was just saying that he lost his job, but it, doesn't he have a job working at the general store? Uh, delivering. Ain't that part of his job right there? Hey. All of a sudden he wants to quit that job and go to this job. It's weird. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. 
work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother, he tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. Tomorrow? Watch around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Man, my wife is a bit mad. She's gonna be like, uh, what is it? I forgot what's his fake name. Man, that dude is so fishy, man. He looks. He takes one look at me and he's already here writing some papers of me being fishy, you know? He's already suspected me of uh, who would have robbed me just the way I handled those guys. I think they might be the old Driscolls. They might be. But the old Driscolls were black, though, so that's another thing. Let's run to our next mission over here. That looks pretty cool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, dang. This is where Sadie Adler killed that dude, the Driscolls. So it's just right around the corner then. I wonder if that's where they're hanging out as well. Maybe they, maybe they are the old Driscolls. Oh. What the heck? It's again. Chucking his chicken back Billy, there. Get over here, Mr. Geddes. This is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you, John. Simple Jim, pleasures. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You messed up my name. Honest, up. you'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. <laughs> well, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John Jim? John Extra Jim. Hard. <laughs> hey. Hey. People call me Slim here. Jim. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. John Jim. <laughs> Come on oh, this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Yeah, uh, day after. Really Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? That, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we uh not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. I hope this guy didn't spoil any beans, man. This guy Milton. with the blue flannel. Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. Right here, you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. All right. Man, my nose is a little stuffy today. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You? Are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. 
A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know. Up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything. The ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild oh. as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Oh. Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. This guy's already suspecting me, too. Things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. I don't yeah. get... Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> I don't get these guys. Like, do they, have, do they own a gun? Like, are they too much of a wimp to hold a gun? Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. That doesn't make any sense, though. Like, these cow... These ranchers don't carry a gun. I feel like I would too, you know, like scare off like coyotes um, or anything that's like going to eat your animals kind of thing, you know. So I got to do this at the same time. Okay. Almost got a pail full. Pretty easy. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a The strategies are gonna do at the same time. <laughs> Cause look at that. Thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn our. You gotta squeeze them at the same time. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. What are you gonna do with all this milk that isn't put away? It's gonna let the cow drink it, How or you now, tip it I'm over. Twelve, sir. Ain't that great? It's such a fine name. I like it. I got, I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now it ain't pleasant work, but it's got to be done. Twelve. Mr. Dickens said. He seems smaller than that. Oh, look we'll at his it. age. Oh, Maybe boy. this is Grosberg. Mm-hmm. Man, we're gonna pick up Dawn. I see some poop right here. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, we gotta pick up some uh, poop. Look out. Okay. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, Angelo sir. Angelo Bronte. I wonder how those broke kids that were working for him are doing. Probably living in the street still, just John smelling like manure. Terror of the turds. You almost got me. So? Don't be all girly. It's not like you're wearing a... It's not like you're going out somewhere. This music. You think your mother's hiding somewhere? Laughing at us? Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. 
You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. <laughs> that's right, that's her name. I oh, don't forget it now. By the way, your dad's gonna get the whipping. Ooh, stamina. Oh man, I forgot. I gotta restall over and all my stamina's now. And dead eye and health bar and all that. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Damn. Letting everyone work in the mornings, right? Yeah. Oh, so an another morning? I'll put some coffee on. Man, coffee is like the best ingredients for a morning stuff. For me, that is. Damn, I'm trying to wake up early too. Trying to go to bed uh, early, wake up early, do all that kind of things, you know? Let's do another uh, TD, right? Is TD uh, working? Hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Farming Not for really. beginners. Can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess uh, we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. <laughs> what was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. Well, don't. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. It's so free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Those logs are pretty easy to carry. I think I can carry both on one hand. Yep. There's Man, plenty it. more to do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We all don't know that. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. What? Shouldn't you use like a bigger hammer than this little guy? Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. No wonder why the fence came down easily when I came up in here, you know? Now, lift up the other side. They got to line up, see? Yeah, that's pretty now obvious. The next rail. No nailing. Okay, Damn, this guy makes it sound like it's difficult. Pull your back into it, John. Yeah. Doing all right. <laughs> Funny, man. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. Man, John's about uh, to grasp the basics. pop a other matters to corn dog to out of his pants. More than a day's work here for you. All Just right. by trying to so lift these logs. Counting sections when you're done. Okay. Oh, I just saw a house way up in the mountain. Later, I'm working. Put that fence down and get over here, boy. Man, oh, they need help with the cow. Hurry, hurry. I don't think John has any. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. 
Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Man, that is so weird. You mean these ranchers are afraid of a cow? Oh! But they can't handle some high, some gun hired men? This stuff doesn't make any sense. What kind of ranchers are these? What kind of wussies are these ranchers, man? Oh, you worked. Oh my gosh, you stupid cow. Oh! No, don't run on. Don't run over there. Dumb cow. Whoa! Whoa, my gosh! That's all you got. Oh. Oh. I thought he was. I thought he was gonna make a loop around. Darn it. Wait up. That's enough out of you. Shoot! Shoot! Oh. Damn it. Wow. I could have calmed this thing down. You don't look like you're going to wind down. <laughs> but I'll try. Oh, come on. Oh, there. Oh, there. Easy. Easy. There, there. There. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. You got a temper on you. All better? Okay. <laughs> now come on, you hunk and chuck. Stubborn, ain't you? <laughs> Let's go. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. Hey, dude. I thought this guy is single handedly. Sore, but I'll be okay. Oh, yeah, Thank such you, a Mr. Wuss. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> Good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. Not like you're one. <laughs> this guy's can't even handle a cow. John single handedly does bull, man. He got hit five times. Thank you. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. Cleaning at the doctor's office. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Get the place to tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Otis Miller. That's the book he's reading? I wonder what it is all about. Ooh. Farming for beginners. Chuh. Can I jump on this game? No, I can't jump. That's so lame. Man, when I was playing Arthur, I could jump. But I can't jump on this guy. Damn it, Abe. Abe? Mr. Geddes. You got an answer for me? Mr. Geddes, I... I said, Abe, yes, sir. where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Dad, you can barely no, see no, him over the grass. With horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest Duncan? He will insist on riding Duncan? Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong. What's his for last him. name? Donut. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe, <laughs> sir. You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today. You hear? No, sir. Thank you, both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up. Runaway horse has been to some of our problems, and I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, huh? 
Maybe I could have handled him. Of course you could. Yeah. You just loud. You handled a bull. Yeah. You weren't afraid so, of it. Uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for uh, business. Oh. Uh. Okay then. Playing All blackjack, right. poker. You'll be just at the end there. I better get Over to at the bar. Thanks, kid. Heading out with the gals. Damn, look at this kid. He's on knee high to a grasshopper. I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. <laughs> That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Whoa, none of that. <laughs> I'm a horse whisperer. Oh, hey, easy now. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? Just watch what I'm doing, boy. to go help your mother. Uh-huh. She's got a horse in full. <laughs> That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. I'm gonna take him out first. Burn some of this heat off of him. Okay. I'll wait in the corral. Yeah. All right. Don't know. What's so the what? Do I just like sprint out of the forest? Got some energy? Show me then. Let's get a lather up. Woo! Dive into the forest. Oh! I didn't even see that tree. <laughs> I did not see that tree. That tree came out of nowhere. Believe me. Oh my gosh. I did. I okay. spent this horse's stuff. <laughs> you can behave now, can't you? <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> Crashing up against the tree that I did not see. Oh my goodness. That was fast. Oh my gosh. I didn't even see that tree. Man. It must have blended in with the shade. I don't know. Jeez. Oh my gosh, what the heck's going on here? Whoa! Alright! He's ready for you. Okay! Get on up there and go nice and slow. Die, dude. <laughs> I think this horse is better off without me. <laughs> oh my Stay gosh. Calm. That was crazy. Me? The Damn, there's a big You're old calm. fence open right there, too. The heart's beating a little. Oh yeah, that's one of the bull. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh. Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich. Way richer than Pa. And he's got all these hired guns. Out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll- hey, Easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but- but just worry about the horse yeah yes sir hmm. i think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone oh i'm not sure about that you're good nice and easy now both of you i think training the horse is really difficult especially when they uh when you get behind them and they they kick you mr milton 
Who? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. No, I me. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my Thank husband. Thank you, Mr. Milton. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. Put him down? Damn, dude. I'd have meant to crash that horse. Now he's about to get a test full of lead before going to sleep, huh? That's so sad. I didn't mean to crash that horse, though. Now that horse is about to see the end of its days today or tonight. We're so, losing one horse you know and we're about to about gain another horse. Fall, Milton? Not too much. My God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Huh. Whatever you say, ma'am. I stick my hand in the kettle. Uh, I gotta swish my hand around. Swim around. Oh, slowly. Okay, now hold on. And pull. Ugh. It's a feisty one, huh? Won't come okay, out. Okay, well, I think she's. Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton. Feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we... What, we the word that spread? Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. I don't think I want to look inside that horse uh, room. I think it's going to be too gruesome. So I'll just run back home now. Huh? That was a pretty cool game. That was pretty funny though, during these last few minutes. Oh, look at the little horse. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? You know, he hears us, right? Been kind of withdrawn. Quiet, you know. Sure. Take him out, please. You know, you. Come on, I'm a boy. player without any Let's father experience. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> so I wouldn't know how to uh, treat this kid. Yeah. I'm playing as a father with father experience, and I'm over here, over left. here with what do you see? no experience. Yeah. Get on, we're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Dunkin' Donuts. Shout out doing? to him. Fine. Can we go home? No. You're. Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding, aside from home? I don't know, but maybe that stream? Good idea. What stream? Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on, you know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Huh. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Up, up, up. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a...
Let's go faster. You can do it. Yeah. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. It's gonna just a little longer before we time. Can we go on time? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, let's wait. Let's wait a little while. And then we'll time to go faster. Look at him. Even faster, come on. Faster? Man, look at us. We're already here riding our horses pretty good. Dad, you can time to go faster? I mean, we are going pretty slow. Mmm, I'll wait. And just about... Yeah. We can go even quicker. If you say so, sir. Yeah. Look at there's a champ. That's my boy. That's my boy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's go across to the stream. Oh, yes, I was sir. gonna tell him to go faster. Chad, <laughs> I wonder how fast can you push his horse to the limit. Damn, what spoiler already made a sharp turn. And look at that, those prong horns not running away. Oh no, never mind, I spoke too soon. Here we are. Yep. We should get back. You think you're ready for a little race? I guess. All right, we go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay, on my go. Go! <laughs> Race Jack. Hey, come back here. You'll have to catch me. Maybe I should let him win. You know, I mean, it's his first day. And you're much smaller, like a jockey. We'll go. We'll, we'll kind of be up ahead just a little bit, just enough where we can, where I can talk some smack to my son then. Get the faster! Come on! Uh, I don't believe it. He's being a little faster now. Let's go just a little faster. Come on. Hey Slow it down. Oh. Nice. I beat you. I beat you. I well beat ridden, son. <sighs> I beat you. Like I said, you're riding. It's gotten so Did much your better. horse get bigger all of a sudden? Did he upgrade already? Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. Why is that gun firing? Dude, I swear that horse upgraded. After the race. Yes. Oh, you hear that? He don't. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Wanna watch your mouth, boy? You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys! Careful! Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here! How oh, fancy pants get? He's paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with vermin. <laughs> Listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> no! Oh, oh alright, we got a feisty one here. Square, square, square. Punch. Dang. Punch. Punch. Punch, punch. Woo! Looking him clean. Oh, there! Bit down, town, boy. <laughs> Get off that man! 
hand. Get off! Him. Okay, Corpse just let Jim. Hit me first. Well, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in a brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> well, what'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. You stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? The trust that I have. <laughs> Plenty, you moron. Plenty. Jeez. She a feisty one. I thought she was gonna say John, like John Milton. But no, she said Jim. Huh? Did that door just open on its own? We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Dutch, get out of my head! Man, you're not you're not living in there rent free, are you? I'm sick of it. I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear Ooh. any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah, I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> That's Had it. to get on. Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> 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 it's all right. It's getting late. Let's get some rest. Ten. Good night, Jack. Just good night, Mama. Dump out the food out. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. Oh, we're about to get raided, right? Oh, dang. What the hell was that? What are you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Jeez. Jim, they got chickens over by the stable. They got chickens? I heard chicken, right? Oh, you again, huh? Who's this? New hand? Cry to your mommy now. Watch you burn. Oh, what the heck? My cowboy hat. I lost my wind. Mm. Mm. Punk. Bozo. My hat. They've killed Mr. Tobert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Oh, she's not going to be happy, huh? Be what was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We... I... What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. 
Damn, still in my pajamas. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah, yeah, right. Oh, that boy got the. Don't get near me. I'm over here trying to ride my horse. He's getting close to me. Off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay, if you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. Ooh, Arthur's hat. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Damn, they're all about to get messed up. Yeah. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn? I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle. And to teach some manners to all of you. <laughs> you seen how many men we got? As many as money can buy. Now get out of here, Hayseed, before you get a hole in your head. Just shoot him! Damn, what the heck? I shot the lantern too. Hey. Ooh. You're not 
know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's gotta make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first in sheep dip, get the stink of you off of her, farmhand! This guy doesn't talk right, huh? <laughs> I didn't even understand a word he just said. Eh. Oh wow. He has that gun? That's the gun I got from Arthur. Oh yeah, I better get my hat back too. Shit. Well, he's dead, so he ain't coming back to life. Ooh, was that? Wait up. Uh, I see some shock and shells, something that I need. I wonder when are we gonna like uh, start roaming free again? I think Arthur can't swim, right? Because I remember, no, not Arthur. I remember Arthur saying that John can't swim, and he can't. Was it good girl now. farm or herd? I remember because it was. I think it was the first or second one. It was a part where we have to hunt for sheep. I remember um, Arthur saying that though. Um, what really caught me uh, to remember though is that I remember Arthur can't swim because Red Dead Redemption I've drowned many times playing as Arthur the, the first game and he would just sink like a rock, you know? back. You did real well, Mr. Milton. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah. <laughs> that weren't nothing. Well... You! Oh, you... <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Whew. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about, Abe, just in case you stay up? Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle. Three times. Three times. We'll all come running. We'll do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. Uh, I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. Oh, man. What? What? She doesn't want guns on the table. Yeah. What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Guess I'm slipping on the top bunk <laughs> above my son. <laughs> uh -huh. Just Jeez. do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Hmm. I don't remember when he said that. Ooh. There's an A mission. Uh, let's go do that. Whoa, I opened that really aggressive. Honey, I'm home. How you getting on? Surviving, I think. Here, I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is, well, you know, undertakers like me. Cattle, not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was, I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money, 
Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're, you're doing better. Milton! Oh. Hope you didn't hear our Milton. conversation. Ma'am, Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot! Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name? My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods. Me. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. I'm just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Yeah. Get. That had big on him, dude. Big enough for him to catch a wind. The horse arrest, Pa? Fly up, you know. Out of the house, huh? I like being in the house. A gust of wind will push him up. Just about doing things off like, his. Boy. Off his seat. It's real bumpy here. What happened the other night with those men? Did you kill them? I did what I had to do to protect you. Ma said it was pride or something. Day. <laughs> was wrong about that. Having a smile on my face, a real big grin as I'm killing them. I mean, I was not not John. Did. John didn't have that look on his face, but I did. <laughs> Pride. Here, you want to take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. Oh man, so I don't even have to drive, huh? Strawberry. Nice. Look at this. You got us the A to B without crashing, boy. I'm so proud of you. You're making me so proud. Oh, I guess it's my turn to drive already. For now. <laughs> that kid's strawberry, eh, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. Right on the wagon. What do you think? All right. Damn. Here we are. That guy. You all that right, dude son? back there. Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. What happened to all of that? I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. What happened to all that talk about him saying polishing rich man's shoes, huh? What happened to Hi. that? I'm here to name. My name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. For real? Uh, just look at the wall and just... Maybe nope. try... Nothing. Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston... Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. 
Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. <clears throat> I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Ah, uh, it's, uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Oh, he could have said, uh, say, Jim Milton. Mr. Milton. John it's Marston's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very brother much, Brother by marriage. <laughs> okay. He could have said that. Let's get out of here. Oh, man. Everything okay, Paul? John Marston's, uh, sure. my brother. I hope so, at least. By marriage. Here. You take the reins a little. <laughs> I oh, sure. again? Come on, son. Don't be a wuss. You enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yep. We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store, or the saloon, or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But... I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving, and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. It's better. It's raining. The news... The, the letters are getting wet. The letters, the boxes. I felt like we should have thrown it out on the seat, you know. If I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? What's uh, with that guy eyeballing sure. us? What are you looking at, man? Speed up. Alright, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Pia! Get back home real fast. Pick up the pace a bit. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. It's raining. The letters are getting wet and the boxes. Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Hey, is it that same guy we just saw over at the What's post wrong? office? Nothing. Uh, is he following us? He is following us. Now we'll just keep it at this pace. We're pretty good. And my boy's driving. Pretty well. See a blue house. Oh, some guy working. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're only seeing one guy. It's not like we're seeing a second guy following us, you know? Well, I don't like driving bad. across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go, and the horse will follow. Okay. Is somebody back there? Just keep driving. I think yeah, the horse is getting skittish. You'll be all right. And that box of a uh, stuffed gorilla is still back there? Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. <laughs> okay, now there's three of them. Okay. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pod. Hey. Those men. Are they following us? Just, just stay calm. Uh, See that still a When we get there, stop the wagon. Jump down and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on! It's really Quick. raining. <laughs> okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marston? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. 
did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? Oh. No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. Yeah. You and your brother was really disgusting. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. Let's open. All right. <laughs> it's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Damn! I shot Get him with a bolt clothes. rifle. Let's go. Jeez. Come on. Yeah. All right. Now we're gonna get back because the <laughs> the letters are all wet. Told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now compose yourself. You killed them, huh? Son, I need you to hold it together. The uh, courage. Uh, I, I knew you were soft. This is the world, son. Things like this happen. Not to normal folk! Well, you ought to get used to what kind of folk yours is. <laughs> Jesus. We're okay. Hey, uh, you know, Mama wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm-hmm. What was it called? Mm-hmm. Well, what was the name, boy? Peacher's Hope. That's right. Peacher's Hope. Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as a rancher's boy. Like Duncan Geddes, huh? I wasn't so sure, but... Yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. <laughs> oh man, the mother's gonna be so mad. She's gonna be like, what are you doing? Okay, here we are. That was an uh, eventful trip. Park the wagon in Pronghorn Ranch. Go say hi to your mother. Dude, it was raining from the start. How was the Since we got here, right? Or since we left the house? What happened? Yeah. It's I don't We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Uh, probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! It was your dress that caused all the problems. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. What is that, new pajamas? <laughs> Is it the one with the open flop in the back? You know? <laughs> Motherhood. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Yeah. Jim? Hey. What uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there, in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. Abe. What do you think he wants? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Hmm. All right. Damn, watch him pull a gun. Do I have my gun? I don't. I might get shot at. The telegram. From the Reaper, busts out his. Excuse me, Mister. Pistol. I'm Jim Milton. 
Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. I think that's like a hitman move right there, though. Thank you. <laughs> Jim, oh. stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. Damn. I'll be damned. Sadie Adler? Sadie Adler. Oh yeah, she was the one that was with Jake. Jake Adler, right? From the beginning of the game. Yeah, it is. There we go. You won't, you won't believe who I met. Yeah. Did they left when I was brushing the horse? Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Man, where did you learn how to read, John? Yeah. I want to know, where did he learn to read? When? <laughs> Is that me? Is that for me? New pajamas, huh? I was right. Is it the updated version with the open flop like I was saying? <clears throat> eh. Where's the wife, Milton? Huh? Uh, she's Who's out. talking. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. Oh, it's him. What's going on? You married, Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? I hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry. All right, so who that's are enough. you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting, unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done, unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Oh, return to work. That's giving me three options. I'm guessing one's milking a cow, the other one's picking up poop. I don't know what this one is over here. Oh yeah, that one's picking up poop, and the other one's... It has to be milk and cow, and the one over here, I don't know what this one is. What's this one? Way over here, what on earth? Oh, it's fixing a fence. Um, pick up post. Square, right? Oh, X. I wonder how many days has it been? Ooh, 
Ooh, that was beautiful. Mm. I like the view. It looked pretty cool. Whoa. I had to refix the fence from those previous uh, dudes a few months later. Dad, so I didn't like see Adler over at the bar or something she was saying, right? I just That's completely her ignored her message. Hey, you know I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I want to end it here. Could I end it here? I need to know if I get to save. So that way I can, uh... Nope, I can't. Darn, like... I'm getting really close. I'm at, like, 121 right now. I'm from So far, there's no editing. Like, no, like... A to B areas. I've just been going through here and there in just less than like a minute. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pow! Yeah, I'm right, right here. <sighs> Looking at some dirty magazines. What's the problem, Milton? Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've... I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own. So I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Use my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. <laughs> so that's how he gets it, huh? He gets it from this guy? He gets a, a word about him saying that he's a, a helper and he needs a loan and that's how everything starts. Damn, dude, that's pretty cool. He has his old flannel, his white t-shirt. Or might be his pajamas. Wow, that beard really gets all blurry a little bit. I'm just looking at it. Alright, I wonder if I could start a camp and then save it. Now I'm off. I quit. I'm a free man. Look at that. What is this music? Hey, this better not be copyright music. You hear me? I'm stick to the road. Big old world sure got me running around. What's this music all about? I heard a voice said, Am I about to get a cussing? And with the moonlight as my guide, and with his feeling deep inside, 
I know now that I am homeward bound. Cruel, cruel world must I go home. Cruel, I'm wondering. cruel world I'm moving on. I've been living too fast and I've been living too wrong. Cruel, cruel world I'm gone. Yeah, I'm gonna strangle the music if this is copyright. Well, I'll, I'll just have to let it slide and see what happens. I don't know where to go, I'm going to A. Desert roads, desert plain. I have Wait up, I'm gonna interrupt that music. I don't know which way to go. What, what's AA? AA is this one. Dude, I'm at 26 minutes and I want to stop. So much pain. Now I see into the eyes of a girl. No more, no more cruel. Cruel, cruel, must I go on? Oh, screw it. I'm, I gotta set up camp. Can I save now? I hope I can save. Thank you. Darn. I was unable to save for, like, where I wanted to save. Jeez, are you serious? Like, right there? That's crazy, man. I'm gonna save right there. That is insane, man. I'm finally able to save. I'm at 52.2%. So, if I wound up losing this progress here, then... Psh, that means I have to go right here to get back to John Marston's story to get everything that I lost. If, I, if that did happen. If something happened with this recording, you know? Alrighty. So I guess I just had to let this music play because it's, apparently it's annoying. But hopefully when I come back this music can stop playing and I could get to Sadie Adler's mission and uh, yeah, start from there. So yeah, that was pretty cool. I liked... I wish this guy would stop singing. Oh, okay, I was about to tone it down and I was about to say, shut up. <laughs> Alright, thank you. This music finally stopped. But anyway, this game was pretty cool. I liked the funny stuff that happened on here, like the me crashing the horse when I was supposed to take him, take him out for a run. I immediately did not see that tree though. I thought it was, I could have sworn everything would like where I was heading. I thought it was just like a shadow area because you know how shades are when you're running against the trees and you don't. I don't. Know. But anyway, that was funny though. It was crazy for me to crash into that tree and night. That horse was about to be put down, and I think there was a couple more things that were funny. I don't remember what was it. <laughs> but anyway, it was it was pretty cool. I like Duncan though. That name, Duncan, Duncan Donuts. I want to replay this game and name my horse that Duncan Donuts. You know, with the like D U N C A N, and then uh, Donuts. <laughs> That's gonna be funny. So, anyway, I'll see y'all around. Take care. Enjoy your days. Don't ask where you guys are from. I uh, hope this video, this game, put a smile on your face. So, yeah. See y'all around.